Today I'm going to feature a couple of rod and reel sets and also some new gear which is just showing up for me to um, test out and trial. Before I start, I just want to give you a bit of a heads up. You know, kayak fishing, I do a lot of kayak fishing obviously and the amount of kayak fishing I do, the kayak puts reels especially and rods through a lot of contact with salt water. Um, and so it's quite important to match up the right reels for the job because if they're not up to it, they certainly won't last and you'll see signs of corrosion pretty quickly. Um, so, you know, during the last year or so, the, my first set that I'm going to feature is this uh, Tai Kabura rod with a, and I've fitted it out with a Abu Garcia Superior reel. Beautiful reel. It's done really well. I've been using this for the last year and um, can't fault it. And when I get this kind of gear, what I tend to do is I won't put any servicing near it or any oil or anything. I might give it the occasional clean, but generally I'll just use the living daylights out of it and, and see if I can basically destroy it. And I haven't been able to do this in a year and a half. Um, so yeah, the superior spin set for my micro jigging, love this combination and this reel has performed beautifully, nice smooth drag and um, yeah, but what's turned up for me to replace it with is the new pen battle which I've got here. So basically looking at this reel, this is uh, pen's indestructible, built like a brick, strong, tough durable reel and um, the battle is basically built to um, last you know so I'm going to be putting this onto my um, Tai Kibura spin, spin rod for micro jigging it's got a 6 to 1 ratio so it's approximately 87 to 90 centimeters per crank of the handle and um, it's got full stainless steel bearings in it and also they are sealed but what I love about these pen reels, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll mention it for this one, is when you open them up, they are jam-packed with grease. These have been prepared, ready for kayak use. You know, we tend to, you know, I've written quite a few articles about using reels, and basically, I end up servicing and, and putting grease in my own reels. But these pen reels, they don't require that. They are fully adapted and ready to go for kayakers. So my second set that I use is my soft bait set in the spin and I'm just going to feature a couple of spin sets today. So this is um, uh, Abu Garcia Veritas soft bait rod, 7 foot, 4 to 8 kilo, awesome rod, love it, you know. Um, has, has done about 3 years worth of service so far and hasn't missed a beat. You know, minimal amount of rust, I don't clean these very much and I should, I tell others, but Around here you've got a little tiny bit of rust, not on the rod itself, it's actually from the jig heads and just the um, where they've sat. So apart from that, can't fault, fault it, no guide's been replaced or anything like that and still going strong. But on this um, rod I have the Roxani 2500 reel. Now this thing's done a few years. I've done nothing to it like I did with the, the previous set. Just used it and used it and I can't fault this reel it's a beautiful smooth reel and the price point on it was quite quite good but however pure fishing the distributors and before I carry on I am in no way sponsored or associated with pure fishing I'm an independent and I just so happen to get these uh, reels sent to me and I use them and abuse them and try and break them and wreck them um, so that's the Roxani but what pens just come out with this year and is the new Clash 2 and these look superb. Very very waterproof which makes them super ideal for kayak anglers. They have what they call this new hydrophobic roller bearing which basically means it's designed in a way that prevents any water getting into that bearing. Um, the roller bearing on your bail arm is the most vulnerable bearing on your reel and requires you know, attention on a monthly basis if you go out regularly. This here, from what I've been told, the um, guys who've been testing these before they actually brought them into the country, you know, the first initial ones, they tested one for six months, pulled it apart, they said there wasn't actually any damage in there. 
The other thing that they've done is they've carried over, we're all very familiar with the Pen Slammer 3, you know, which has been a superb reel. Most of the kayakers I know have got one or want one because they are just so bulletproof and they're just so waterproof. And this here, basically some of the features that you get in the Pen Slammer range have been moved across to the Pen Clash 2. Um, so, you know, you've got that waterproof seal up in the, where the, um, up in the top end of the reel is very similar to the pen slammer. And, um, but you've got that new bearing and also you've got a full metal body. This thing feels solid, you know, like the battle too, but light. This is a lightweight reel for soft baiting or anything else, but it has that waterproofing and is built really, really tough. So that's that's my sets that I've got. These are the new ones, the new Pen Clash 2 and the new Battle. I can't wait to put three, these through the paces and I'll be keeping you up to date on how they're performing. So anyway, that's the new reels for the coming season and I can't wait to give these two little spin reels a run through their paces.